So last time we exposed Mordecai for the things he did, and there were a lot of comments talking about how Rigby is a way worse friend than Mordecai, and I actually agree with that. So today we're going to expose Rigby for the things he's done, and we're going to get started off with the Wild Buddy episode because I think it's a great example of what a bad friend slash roommate would actually do. Don't worry, we're going to get to Rigby's worst violations later into the video. Off rip, when you look at this room, we can already see who the bad roommate here is. Here we got Mordecai's side looking nice and neat, and then we flash over to Rigby's side and we see a whole pigsty. Like, I've seen messy rooms before, but rummaging through trash to find items is insane. Like, bro, look at this. I guarantee you he's never used half of these items before. Anyways, the episode starts off with Rigby and Mordecai going to get some chimichangas, and we see Benson looking for his phone that he gave Mordecai and Rigby. Bro picks up his phone leaking some mystery sauce. I know Benson was tight hearing these clowns rap in the hallway. Chimichanga! Turn up the treble! Turn up the bass! Cause I'm shoving guacamole! All up into my face! So, Benson is rightfully angry with Mordecai and Rigby, and then demands them to clean up the room or else they can stop living there for free. Knowing that it's Rigby's mess, Mordecai gets him to try and clean it, and here's where we get to our first issue. Rigby refuses to clean up his mess. Bro is mad difficult for no reason. Oh hey, you dropped something. So, Rigby's bad idea to clean up was to put his trash in Mordecai's spaces. Like, who let bro cook when he was doing this? I want y'all to look at Mordecai's face for a second. Bro really thought that Rigby actually cleaned the room, and now it's his first mistake. Imagine finding your roommate's trash and your stuff, and he's like, oh, uh, you found that stuff? You were supposed to do that! We have to be better, Rigby. Anyways, Benson threatens to fire Rigby and Mordecai because Rigby refuses to clean up the room. Which, mind you, these two only got their jobs because Mordecai's credentials, and they're about to lose them because Rigby's being difficult and lazy. Watching this back really shows me how difficult a position Mordecai was put in just by being friends with Rigby. So, Rigby being Rigby, he decides to buy Wild Buddy and uses it to put all the trash on Mordecai's side. Like, why are you doing this? You want Mordecai to clean up your mess even though it's not his? <sighs> I, I can't believe this isn't even the worst thing Rigby's done. Clean up your mess. It's like every time you have to do something simple, you buy some dumb product and make it worse. What? When have I ever done that? This statement is way too true. So, Wild Buddy goes crazy and Rigby successfully gaslights Mordecai into thinking all the things happening in this episode is partially his fault. It's cause you threw me under the bus! What? When? When Benson told us to clean the room, you ratted me out! It used to be both of us against the man. Now I know when it gets rough, you'll sell me out. Th this is such a bad argument. Like, how does Rigby think that Mordecai is selling him out? Because he's holding you accountable for your mistakes? Are we sure this is even your friend Mordecai? You can go back as far as season 1. Just because Rigby doesn't get player 1, he goes to learn something called Death Kwando and goes to the park destroying it and any other people in his way just to get to Mordecai. If that's not some villain activity, I don't know what is. And then he goes to punch Mordecai and when he doesn't die, he's shocked and a little bit angry. How come you're not dead yet? You know what that means, right? He was ready to kill his best friend. And finally, we get to the infamous example of Rigby being a terrible friend. The forged rejection letter. Now this movie revealed a lot of things to us, mostly how Mordecai and Rigby ended up at the park. Essentially there was a college named College University, creative name right, that basically accepts anyone. It's the dream school of Mordecai and Rigby, but Rigby not taking high school seriously, he didn't get accepted. As a viewer, you're probably thinking, well that's unfortunate that he can't go to his college with his best friend, but it's not like he'll take drastic measures to make sure his friend can't go. Sorry Mordecai. Someone in the comments of the last video said it best. Shout out to Mr. Bones. Forging your own best friend's college letter so you don't have to be the only one who doesn't go to college is like being stuck in an island and a gene gives you a wish and you ask to leave the island, but your friend gets lonely so he asks to bring you back. This is just bringing your mans down for no reason. Is that really your friend if you are willing to go to such lengths to make sure he's with you? Even when you're down? He's also lied about this for like the past five years because they're supposed to be 23. That's five years of Mordecai's life wasted of being lied to all the time. When I was watching this movie, I was so glad Mordecai ended that friendship because it's something that should have happened before on multiple occasions. Not having Rigby as a friend would be an interesting dynamic for the show. I take work in a lame job at a park with my best friend any day. You can't keep getting away with it! Fortunately, Rigby actually does have his redemption arc right after this movie when he began to go to high school and he starts to fulfill his promise to Eileen to become better for her and himself. If it weren't for this, Rigby would probably be universally hated by the regular show fan base. Now, I don't hate Rigby, he was actually my favorite character growing up despite the antics he did, but looking at it from a more mature lens, I could see that the things that he was doing was actually harming the people around him. Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. And also comment down below what the next style of video you want to be. You want it to be another commentary video, maybe instead of doing cartoons, I just do anime. Or maybe it should be another skit. I haven't done one of those in a little bit. That's all I got for y'all today. Peace out.